Are you looking for privacy ideas for your yard? Maybe tall, narrow, fast-growing, low-cost privacy? Obviously, fences, trees, and shrubs are great options for privacy, but in this video, I want to go beyond these and provide you with some creative alternatives to explore and consider. Ideas that may not be the first things that come to your mind. All of the ideas in this video can be adapted to different spaces, styles, and made using various resources, plants, materials. So see what you can do with what you have on hand or what you could easily access. For example, you may not be able to build a designer magazine worthy pergola, but maybe you can zip tie some bamboo together to create a nice looking frame for a few outdoor curtains. Speaking of privacy and seating areas, I talked about this more in my last video, but you should consider starting by prioritizing your privacy areas, finding ways to bring privacy solutions closer to you, because the closer the privacy solution, the smaller it needs to be. Identify the parts of your yard that need privacy the soonest, and oftentimes these are going to be outdoor seating areas, decks, patios, any sort of outdoor room, typically pretty close to your house. When possible, consider closing in your seating area or framing it in, and there are many different ways you can do this. Framing in a deck, patio, or seating area with some kind of shade structure, a canopy, or even a pergola of some sort can act as a great starting point for privacy. You can buy a pop-up canopy, you could tie together frames, again, of sticks or bamboo, you can craft a frame out of pipes, you could buy a pergola kit. The reason I mention this as a consideration first is because when you have some sort of structure or frame, you open up the opportunity to easily hang or secure privacy solutions from the frame. And of course, you can close in one side with panels or close in an entire wall. Panels, of course, are a very common privacy solution. There are places that sell wooden privacy panels and screens. You can upcycle old boards, doors, affix them to current deck rails. You could stake, uh, put stakes in the ground and then secure the panels to them. You could find some panels that are freestanding, though please be aware of, beware of wind and make, make sure nothing tips over. Cattle panels are very simple wire panels that can be purchased at many farm stores. They can be easily secured upright to create these low cost, lightweight privacy panels or trellises. They're quick, they're easy to work with. You can zip tie them to fences, structures, or stakes in the ground. On their own, of course, they don't provide any privacy, but they create an affordable, instant, and easy to install frame or structure. Perhaps grow vines up them, apply a little extra creativity, maybe tying fabric to them, for example, hanging art, attaching bamboo mats. Similarly, outdoor curtains are fantastic and incredibly underutilized in my opinion. Sometimes you can use waterproof or water resistant curtain materials. Sometimes you could buy a can of some sort of waterproofing spray and apply that to a fabric you like. And other times you could just bring curtains in and out seasonally, especially if you have some sort of rings or hooks or uh, a curtain rod that's really easy to bring, uh, put up, take down, bring in and out seasonally. Just keep in mind that the curtains will blow in the breeze, so consider fabric panels, right? Or, you know, tie them down somehow, add weights to the bottom of the curtains. If you have a structure, sometimes an outdoor curtain can be as easy as bringing a spring rod outdoors, right? They don't have to be complicated necessarily. You don't have to use fabric curtains either. Consider any curtain material. There are tons of different options out there. For example, bamboo mats or bamboo roll fencing. It's all around one of the greatest instant privacy tools because you can hang them from a panel, a trellis a structure as a privacy curtain. You can zip tie them to a fence. You could even use them to increase the height of a fence, a shorter fence in particular. Uh, they can provide privacy as is, right? Or they can even be used as a trellis. You can grow vines up them. They also age nicely and they kind of disappear into the background of your garden or landscape as the color kind of fades. Similarly, wood lattice is a fantastic material for adding privacy, creating trellises or panels or just adding height to an existing fence. You can purchase these fun extendable lattice panels as well. And note that there are lattices with various that come in various patterns and styles. So if you aren't a fan of the classic diagonal look, consider the other types. Note that if you're considering adding height to your fences, extending your fences in some way, there are sometimes neighborhood association rules specifically against this or other local rules in general. Uh, look, look into any rules before you do anything in your landscape design, uh, but this is specifically something that can come up, so be sure to double check. If you're not allowed to increase the height of your fence, consider perhaps adding a trellis into your yard. Trellises alone can provide varying levels of instant privacy, but of course, trellises and vines often go together. Vines are a fantastic, super narrow, fast-growing privacy solution. So if you're thinking that a tall, narrow, evergreen tree like Arborvitae, something like that's going to be your only option, consider a vine on a trellis, maybe even an evergreen vine. Also, don't be afraid of a vine that goes dormant in the winter, but leaves behind some kind of woody structure. Like if you've seen a grapevine in the winter, it still provides a ton of privacy, even without leaves. And in the summer, you get grapes. 
If you would like help researching plant ideas in general, choosing the right plant for the right place in your yard, wherever you live, I have a free mini course I created. It's called How to Choose the Perfect Plant. It's free. It's about an hour long total to access the mini course. You just have to create a, a username password so that you can keep track of your progress as you move through the course. So it's linked in the description below this video if that would help you. Even a small trellis can provide a lot of privacy if it is placed close to you, perhaps close to your patio, close to your seating area, just as an example, or if it's placed close to the source of a privacy problem, like blocking a particular vantage point, neighbor's window, for example, neighbor's seating area, put it closer to the outside edge of your property. Uh, so again, closer to you, closer to the source of the privacy problem. You can also sometimes grow vines up the railings of your deck, for example, to add a little bit of privacy, though that does sometimes make deck maintenance a little bit more challenging and some vines are going to be more aggressive than others just keep that in mind and speaking of aggressive plants are you ready for some controversy let's talk about bamboo and bamboo is one of my top privacy solutions in landscape design in general but of course bamboo can spread aggressively and for this reason i know a lot of folks who say just across the board avoid bamboo but i'm going to risk it all by saying that while bamboo needs to be respected it's not all bad. And there are some amazing things about bamboo. It grows super tall and it's super narrow. It's, it grows really quickly too. And uh, it's super tough, it's evergreen, it's gorgeous. Consider it a tall, skinny conifer alternative, right? An arborvitae alternative. And some consider there to be two general kinds of bamboo, running bamboo and clumping bamboo. And from there, every kind of bamboo can have a slightly different personality. Some are just going to be more aggressive than others. The general category clumping bamboo is just going to spread more slowly, kind of as a growing clump that again, even this clump, this, this can outgrow its space. However, it's not going to be as aggressive as a running bamboo, which is the kind that kind of sends up shoots everywhere. Big plastic bamboo barriers are a bit of a pain to put in. They have some downsides, but many find them to be a great solution if they want to plant bamboo without it taking over the universe. I am also a huge fan of bamboo in containers for incredible tall, narrow privacy, movable tall, narrow privacy too. And I have clumping bamboo growing in these big nursery pots with, you know, kind of like a big edge on them that makes them easier to move around wherever privacy is needed most. It's really hard to beat. Tall, narrow, evergreen, fast growing, absolutely gorgeous privacy. I love bamboo, especially in containers. In fact, container gardening in general can be a fantastic, fast privacy solution, especially for smaller spaces. You can even grow some trees in containers, right? You can grow a vine, a petrellis, and a long skinny container, and the containers themselves add height to whatever privacy plant you are growing. It's hard to find a plant that will grow two feet taller in a day, but you can plant anything in a two foot tall container in a day. Similar to containers, raised beds can add height to plantings and provide additional privacy that way. Not just for vegetables, they also do not need to be made of wood. Consider making raised beds that are edged with bricks, stones, uh, or simply just mounded, gently mounded or kind of like a berm without any border. And berms, similarly, can also sometimes be helpful to add a little bit of height to your privacy uh, plantings before you even plant them. If you have access to topsoil, perhaps after a construction project, perhaps consider strategically mounding the soil up in some areas to add some initial height to whatever you plant. Berms can be sculpted to have very natural shapes. Speaking of new construction, if you plan on adding any elements to your yard, like a shed, a play structure, a greenhouse, uh, the list goes on, right? Just consider placing these elements in a way that maximizes the privacy in your yard. If you're going to be installing a shed, you may as well place this shed somewhere that blocks the noise from the street, for example, or maybe blocks a gap in the trees. A fast growing, tall, narrow privacy solution that's commonly overlooked? Ornamental grasses. There are some species of ornamental grasses that can grow very tall in just a few years. Some are even evergreen, though even the ones that die back or go dormant in the winter can be left untrimmed. Uh, some people do this. They like the winter interest. Uh, it adds additional privacy. And then in the springtime, you can trim it back and then it quickly will grow tall again and it'll remain tall for the rest of the season. Ornamental grasses are also great in containers. Depends on the grass you choose, how densely it grows, how tall it grows. There are countless options. If you're looking for fast growing summer privacy plants, don't forget that many annual plants grow to be quite tall quite quickly. Annual vines tend to be really fast growing as well. I've known folks who plant green beans like scarlet runner beans, another example of a, a beautiful dry bean that gets pretty flowers, sweet peas. They've grown these things up trellises or even just strings for fast summer privacy. Cosmos and sunflowers are fast growing annuals I personally love. 
And now I should mention, remember that not all privacy should be fast privacy. Sometimes you need privacy as quickly as possible, but it's also worth investing in trees and plants that take a long time to fill in, that provide long-term privacy, cooling shade, increase property value, clean the air, replace lost habitat for wildlife, and all the other benefits that large plants and trees provide. When you can, be sure that you're balancing investing in instant overnight privacy solutions with privacy solutions that are time investments that will provide benefits, privacy benefits for years or even lifetimes. So this is the second video in a series of videos about privacy, landscape design for privacy. So if you haven't seen my first video, I will pop that up on the screen right here, right now. You may be interested in that. And welcome to Garden Project Academy, by the way. Uh, this is a relatively new YouTube channel. I'm Eve Hanlon. I'm a landscape designer. I'm a horticulturist. I'm from the Pacific Northwest corner of the USA. And I'm creating these videos and online landscape design resources to help you with your next garden project and to help you do more great things with your yard with the opportunity you have to do some landscaping. So I am in the process of creating some online courses as well. I have a waitlist for my Design Your Own Landscape Layout course. It walks you through the process of creating a two-scale hand-drawn map and then designing the layout, how to prioritize and lay out all of the elements in this design area. So if you're interested in that, again, that's linked in the description below. If you have any privacy solutions that you come up with after watching this video or things you've done in the past, if you'd like to share those in the comments below, it's really cool to read the comments. Uh, and learn what you're doing, what other people are doing, your comment might inspire some new idea that could really help someone else out. So please share in the comments below if you have any cool, uh, fast growing, instant creative privacy ideas. I hope that this video has provided you with some new ideas. Thank you so much for watching and happy gardening.